Hi, and welcome to Meetings in Math. You are here for 7.1a square roots. Our essential question is, how do you find the square root of a number? Today, you will need your Jaguar dots on section 7.1, a pen or a pencil. You might find a highlighter useful. We are not using our calculators in this section, so please put them away at this time. Your problem solving skills is always a must, as your perseverance and a positive attitude. Let's examine what a square root number looks like right now. What you see there is a square root number. The symbol on the outside is called a radical sign and it represents the square root. The number on the inside is called the radicand and is the number under the radical signs and it's what you're taking the square root of. And so we read this as the square root of 81. So let's look at some more definitions. A square root of a number is a number that when multiplied by itself is the given number. And a perfect square is a number with integers as its square root. So for example, if I was to take the square root of 16, the answer is four. So four times four is 16. When we look at our inverse operations, we know that the inverse operation of addition is subtraction. And we know that the inverse operation of multiplication is division. And so now what square roots allows us to do is take the inverse operation of a square. So the inverse operation of a square is a square root. So when we have an inverse operation of a square, that would be something like x squared. And so the inverse operation of a square is a square root. And so what we are looking at are these two symbols to represent a square using the exponent and the square root using this new symbol. Please notice that this symbol has almost like a check mark in the front and it goes over the entire expression. It is not a straight line and then goes over it. That is the division symbol. So there is a difference between the two. Please make sure that yours has the check mark and then what is almost like the division symbol. So we have three different kinds of roots that we can look at. We can look at what we're most used to seeing, which is the one that has just the regular square root like this, or we can look at the one that has a negative in front of it, or we can look at one that has this plus and minus in front of it. So we're going to talk about now what each one of those mean. The first one is just a positive square root. So if I had the square root of 81, my answer is just nine. The second one is the negative square root, but it works better to read it as the opposite of the square root. So the opposite of nine would be negative nine. And then the last one, we read it as both of the square roots are plus and minus the square root of 81. And so it would be plus and minus nine or positive and negative nine. So what you wanna do is you wanna pay attention to whatever's in front of that, and then you want to pull it through into the answer. So if it's in front of it, just make sure you pull it through into the answer. So for this next one, we're going to find the two square roots of 64. So remembering what we did before, so how do we multiply to get positive numbers? Well, eight times eight would get us to 64. So one of the square roots of 64 is eight. But we know that we can also say negative eight times negative eight is 64. So one of the other square roots of 64 is negative eight. So we have an answer of both eight and negative eight. So how do we represent that algebraically? Well, that's where that plus and minus comes in. So we can say not only is it positive or negative eight, we can then shorten it up to just say plus or minus eight. So now let's find the two square roots of 81. What can we multiply by itself to get to 81? Well, hopefully you know it's nine. 
So now we want to account for both the positive roots of nine and the negative roots of nine. And we can do that simply by doing the positives and negatives. So plus and minus nine. So now let's look at 196. So go back to the table that we made that had all of our perfect squares listed out and read it backwards. Go through the list and find 196 and then read backwards. And what number do you find? Well, I know that 144 is 12 and 169 is 13. So yes, 196 would be 14, but I want to account for the positive and negative roots. So I put plus and minus on there. And so I'd have positive and negative 14. So this is one of those that you do need to memorize. So what about 640? Well, this one, you do have to do a little bit of thinking on. So think to yourself, what is the square root of 64? That should start to help you in the right direction. Do you know the square root of 64? Yes, it's eight. And it's followed by two zeros. So long as your number of zeros is even, it's going to be nice. So it's followed by two zeros. So you're going to take half of that. So it will be one zero. So your answer then will be the eight from here and then half the zeros. So since it had two zeros, half the zeros. So the eight and half the zeros. So it's going to be 80. So remember you want both the positive and negative roots. So it will be plus and minus 80. So I'm going to walk you through this one more time. What I did was I took my 64 and I know the square root of that, which is eight. And then I took half the amount of zeros and that's where the 80 came from. But I need both the positive and negative roots. And so I put that in front of the 80. So what about 225? I'm going to pause this and let you come up with the answer. Go back to your table of perfect squares and see what you get. Good. You should have gotten plus or minus 15. So that is it for today. Today was really about understanding how to read the problem and when you put plus or minus, when you don't, making sure that you knew what to do when the numbers get a little bit bigger. What I'd like you to do is I would like you to explain to someone how to find the square root when a number ends with two zeros. Thank you so much for joining us. And remember, be kind to one another because we can all use some extra kindness in our lives. Bye for now.